It's a showdown at sundown here at the Sakia circuit. Welcome along to the Bahrain Grand Prix, the first Bahrain Grand Prix under lights and the third round of the Formula One World Championship in 2014. So far, we've seen Nico Rosberg win in Australia, Lewis Hamilton win in Malaysia. We get to the third round and it's Rosberg and Hamilton on the front row for this afternoon's race. 57 laps around this 3.36 mile circuit. Two DRS zones to point your way along the back straight towards turn 11 and along the home straight towards turn 1 as well. Eight braking events on this circuit, five of them heavy, traction all important, high on fuel consumption and high on excitement as well as we celebrate the 900th Formula One World Championship Grand Prix. And as it was for the 800th race in this Formula One World Championship, it's under lights. Remember Singapore in 2008? I'm sure Fernando Alonso, Fernando Alonso does. And there, Lewis Hamilton sits on the grid. The only time in his Formula One career he's won one of the first two races was the year that he won the World Championship. And maybe this man is his biggest title contender in 2014, because the way it's going, as the sun goes down at this Bahrain circuit, it's Mercedes racing off into the sunset. It may well be. Formula One as Charlie Whiting looks to see if everybody is ready. A fifth Mercedes front row lockout since their return in 2010 to Formula One. Whilst they have been waiting for a while, Adrian Sutil slots his Sauber in right now. And we are ready for the 900th Formula One World Championship Grand Prix. Five lights are on. It's lights out, and away we go, and who's got the best start out of the front? Looks like Rosberg ahead of Hamilton, who will have the inside line to turn one. Valtteri Bottas just covers off Sergio Perez. Hamilton tries to go down on the inside as Perez locks up, and Hamilton nicks the lead for his teammate Nico Rosberg. It's then Valtteri Bottas losing pace because Felipe Massa has got into third place. We're riding on board now with Jensen Button as Nico Rosberg down towards turn four, tries to make a move around the outside. Hamilton's got his covered. He's going to have to go the long way round, forced off the track by his teammate Nico Rosberg, but there was no contact made, and it's Hamilton that leads them down the hill. Yes, and they were both pointing at each other on the grid, they know exactly what they wanted to do, but Lewis got the better secondary phase to the start, and obviously got the right place into turn one. And we're told they could race, and uh, so far on this lap, Nico Rosberg's two tenths faster, so we can see the start of the front there, Lewis just gets, as I say, the secondary phase of the start, and that's where Massa, Massa just drove clean between his teammate and Sergio Perez. Perez then locks his right front brake in sympathy. So uh, just a, a brilliant launch there from Massa. And let's see where the contact was with uh, Kimi Raikkonen. Haven't seen anything yet. Must have happened on the way into turn one. What have we got going on down here now? So this is into turn four, where Rosberg gets forced wide by Hamilton, has to leave the track. But and this at the start, Lewis Hamilton then, really good getaway. And whilst his teammate Nico Rosberg just getting bogged down a bit, this is where Hamilton now starts to make the gains. Rosberg leaves him enough space. It's pure instinct to know where to brake, especially with these new brake-by-wire cars. And no lockups. It's just a sixth sense. And this is Rosberg trying to come back at him in turn four. And there's one thing and one thing only going to happen here. He's going to run out of space because Lewis is entitled to hold the racing line if somebody's trying to come ambitiously around the outside. But you're not allowed to force somebody off the track either. Interesting to see Lewis Hamilton go off like a hare at the beginning, trying to break uh, the DRS to Nico Rosberg because that's contra to what he wants to do with the tyres. Really, the evidence from Friday practice is that you've got to take it so steady on the early few laps on these tyres in order to extend your, uh, your run and your stint because we're looking at, if it's a two-stop, we're looking at trying to get these tyres to la last until lap 19 or 20. Team Radio. So just look after that left front. Looks like we have a little more understeer than the other car. We, uh, yeah, The unmentionable car, Ted. Yeah, the <laughs> other one. Uh, the yeah. other one that's going to challenge you for the whole championship. But I think if we see, start to see them in from 14 or 15, then we're looking uh, potentially at a three. But they're going to keep the strategy fluid because it is getting pretty much uh, pretty cooler down here uh, in the pit lane. We haven't seen Button or Ricardo pit yet. We haven't seen Maldonado pit yet out of the top ten runners as threading his way through. Yeah. There's Hulkenberg and here comes Nico Rosberg into turn one for the lead this. Rosberg 
going against Hamilton. Hamilton fights back. Rosberg has to concede the lead within a matter of metres. But Hamilton, was he caught unaware? Could he see Rosberg coming? He didn't manage to fend him off for the first time, but got the place straight back again. Rosberg had DRS, of course, but he got in a little bit too hot into the braking zone. He'll refine that by two or three metres next time he gets a chance. And that confirms to me that Nico Rosberg is sitting there with fractionally the better combination. Confirms to me as well, Martin, that these two are free to race. Yeah. Nothing at Mercedes is being said about you guys not racing each other. You've got to go out and do it, which is which is good news for the show all round. As Hulkenberg sets the new fastest lap of the race, and Jensen Button, as you can see, comes into the pits for his first stop. Yeah. Doesn't sound happy, does he? Well, he wasn't going to put his hand up and say. Well done, was he? So uh, there, DRS. Help, you, help yourself. Um, so but Lewis is perfectly entitled to swing back, knowing that Nico's compromised on a tight line, but they got so close to touching, which would have uh, punctured Lewis's left rear and taken the wing off. Yeah. Uh, it was a little bit aggressive from Lewis, but... It was well, for the lead. <laughs> well, exactly. <laughs> it is, you know, it's the World Championship as well they're yeah. fighting over. Toto Wolf going greyer by the meter. There we go again. I think at the moment as uh, Hamilton Rosberg part two, and he's going to try up the inside again. Rosberg, he's got DRS, and this time Lewis Hamilton locks up as well as Nico Rosberg. Now, does that give Rosberg the chance to keep hold of the lead? Looks to me like it does as they move up the hill now. Hamilton just couldn't get the traction to fight right back, but he's now going to get the slipstream. And towards turn four, we go towards the outside of the track. Hamilton is pushed. Rosberg makes his move around that right hander. Hamilton now trying to fight back down the hill. This is where Rosberg. Rosberg went off on the first lap. This is where Hamilton on lap 19 regains the lead back again. Whoa! Brilliant driving. I thought Lewis might wait for the DRS next time round. He's, he's too impatient for that. He wants that position back and good wheel-to-wheel -wheel action. They're brilliant wheel-to-wheel -wheel action, but they're getting perilously close to damaging each other's cars. I was Toto Wolf. I'd be asking for one of these two to take a pit stop in, in the very near future because this is just going to run on and on. This is like Frotch Groves. This is brilliant. As we see great overtaking from Hamilton, uh, we see Jules Bianchi given a drive-through penalty for causing a collision. He was in there a touch late, but uh, I think he was making a bona fide overtake. They've decided it was too late. But this, of course, is all about track position and who gets to come in first for the undercut. And presumably the leader, Hamilton, can do that. And here we can see how much energy they've used in terms of the Urs uh, supply for this lap. We can see as well their fuel target in the race and the lap in terms of uh, percentage. And they are well within the green, which is good news. And into the pits finally comes Lewis Hamilton. And that explains why he was not prepared to wait for the DRS down the pit straight. He knew he needed to get track position to get first call on the pit stop and get that extra lap for the undercut on the fresh tyres. Good stop. You see that orange light above his head that means that his uh, Urs is fully connected and running safely and properly so using DRS push hard now for two laps push hard for two laps then we go to prime tire alternative strategy yeah, that would have been a little bit ago it's not a live message but of course Rosberg would have had DRS coming down the main straight because he would have been behind Lewis Hamilton uh, before he pitted a box 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 Lewis has been quick behind him though, he's done a personal best first sector on this lap, so Lewis should, providing he doesn't get a bunch of traffic, should comfortably be There's a 20 in second the lead. gap isn't there yeah. between the two. And it's 23 to make a stop, plus what Lewis has gained on this lap, so Nico Rosberg is going to come out 3-4 seconds down, but with slightly fresher tyres. Which, and he's going to put the medium compound tyre on for this uh, stint like as well. Is that what, I think that's what Lewis put on, is it not? No, I think Lewis is on the soft, to be honest, Martin. Just looking at yeah. it. Yes, he is. As he there flashed past our, our commentary. So they've split the strategy yes, down at Mercedes. Yeah, you're right. Sorry. So Rosberg, obviously, they obviously think Rosberg can stay close enough to Hamilton here to maybe avoid a repeat of what we saw when they were racing wheel to wheel and try and jump Lewis in the pit stops maybe at a later 
data will be that significantly quicker during the course of a lap. There is, but yeah, there's a lot of debris down there. So now here's Maldonado coming out of the pits and straight into Esteban Gutierrez. And you're right. Just flipped over. Whoa, what was that? So Maldonado. Lewis Hamilton pits while we watch the replays, but he just gave him an almighty shunt from the side there. Maldonado coming out of the pits. You have to ask, what, what was he looking at as he came down the inside? Rosberg pits too. So both Mercedes are pitted. They must be, uh, well, what were they? They were 13 seconds adrift, so enough time. And the safety car is coming out. Yeah, Sorry, Martin. They anticipated the safety car. I don't see any option, frankly. It's in a di very difficult place and the heaviest braking zone on the track. And both Mercs pitted. They must have been just far enough apart not to uh, hold each other up. Not that they were exactly under pressure from behind. Behind then? Yeah. Because he can see ahead of him. Yeah. And I'd like to see it again because I, I just wonder as well, and it's a different nose, obviously, on Maldonado's Lotus. But did the low nose contribute to flipping that car over? I would have thought it's more likely to be tyre against tyre right. face, personally. But uh, let's, we'll take a look. Replay then. The double uh, shuffle. Yeah. The quick turnaround. Plenty of time. And this is going to get very interesting, isn't it? So, Nico got a brand new set of the faster tyres. Lewis is Paddy. The 10 yeah, laps up. left to race, can we just make sure we uh, bring both cars home? Which doesn't say he can't race, it just says be a little bit careful in my mind. Nico, it's Paddy here, there are about 10 laps left to race, can we just make sure we bring both cars home? Okay. Same message to both drivers, Ted. Get going once more. Safety car pulls away and the cars fly down the main straight towards about 200 miles an hour. It's Lewis Hamilton ahead of Nico Rosberg. Behind Nico Hulkenberg is having a go at Sergio Perez in the turn one. The Force Indias get close. Hulkenberg has to concede as Perez protects that third place ahead of Jensen Button. And then Sebastian Vettel and Daniel Ricciardo. And after Ricciardo, it's Massa and Bottas. But here come the two Mercedes into turn four. It's Rosberg and Hamilton going wheel to wheel. It's is that Rosberg squeezing his way? Is that Hamilton squeezing his way? It's Hamilton just in the lead from Nico Rosberg. And the Force India still going for it down the hill. Hamilton's tyres will take a bit of warming up, a bit more warming up. And uh, Maldonado's got a stop-go penalty, 10 second stop-go penalty for causing that turn one incident. But uh, Lewis has really got his hands full here with the Force Indies. Then Perez back in front, as you can see. Will be certainly some podium as Armand Ball with Nico Rosberg into the first turn we go. Is this the lead now for Rosberg? Hamilton manages to stay ahead. There's no team orders but going Ro on a Mercedes. Rosberg will be way, way quicker out of turn two. He could get on the throttle, but Hamilton's covered the inside line. And those sticky tyres for Rosberg giving him better traction too. Will will he leave him any space? Absolutely he's gone off the not. track. He's gone completely off the track, Nico Rosberg, but he's certainly not given up yet. He now has to as Hamilton slots back into the lead again. Wow. So uh, Lewis is having to be very clever on positioning his car and clearly the race is still on, but uh, no quarter given. Quarter was asked yeah. by Paddy Lowe and well, Lewis is doing a stellar job on those tyres because they must be half a second a lap slower than the ones that Rosberg's on. So here comes Rosberg again with DRS into turn 11. Just shows Lewis Hamilton that he's there. Not that Hamilton had completely forgot about that, of course, and they disappear up towards the highest part of the circuit once more. On lap 52 of 57 here, and a lead that is under threat for Lewis Hamilton through no fault of his own. He built up a good gap. The safety car took that margin away, and now Rosberg wants to take victory away from him. It's the two Mercedes boys scrapping for it. The Silver Arrows going for gold here in Bahrain. As onto the main straight we go once more, and it's DRS time as that gap gets opened up and the speed increases for Nico Rosberg, but not for Lewis Hamilton. Five laps to go. Hamilton, our race leader. Rosberg in second, gaining all the time. A little bit too far back, but he's going to go for it down the he inside. It, has he outbraked himself? Yes, he has. Lewis Hamilton comes back into the lead once more. Yeah, didn't even make the braking zone there. That was uh, incredibly late, but it's uh, it's like last time. He just needs to adjust that by a couple of metres, 
and he'll get the turn. He needs to park it on the apex so Lewis can't get on the throttle. Or he needs to catch him out in a place where Lewis Hamilton isn't quite expecting it. Might be on the way down into turn eight here as we ride on board with Rosberg, who won the first race of the season. Ahead of him, Hamilton, who won the second race of the season. And no one knows who's going to win the third race just yet. Behind these two, Perez, 14 seconds, 14 seconds now further back. Hulkenberg, two and a half seconds back from Perez and Ricardo on Hulkenberg's tail, as Rosberg is on Hamilton's tail once more, and he's going to have to stay there for a few corners Lewis, more. Lewis is on autopilot in terms of going forward. He's looking much more in his mirrors than he is out the front of the car, and he has to be. Rosberg's got the extra traction of those soft compound tyres. But you can see in turns five and six, for example, Rosberg struggling in the turbulent and hot air of his teammate. And that's Lewis's best chance. But where Lewis needs to be mighty is off the, uh, this last corner. He needs to be crispy clean coming out there, picking up the throttle. But out in front, Lewis Hamilton and Nico Rosberg have just rounded the final turn. And Mercedes are going to make it back to back one twos. It's Lewis Hamilton who once again wins the Grand Prix. Hamilton triumphs in Bahrain from his teammate Nico Rosberg. And it is smiles all round of both celebration and relief in equal measure. They're waiting to start the podium party down at Force India. But Sergio Perez is going to have to hang on and hold off Ricardo for one more time and he does so to finish in third Ricardo who started 13th on the grid takes a brilliant fourth place ahead of Hulkenberg and then Vettel and then Massa ahead of Bottas ahead of Alonso ahead of Raikkonen Ferrari score points but it's only three in this Bahrain Grand Prix the fireworks started from the moment the lights out to the moment the chequered flag came out and for a 900th Formula 1 World Championship Grand Prix. That was an absolute corker. Wasn't it ever? That's a good as as good a race as we've had for a very, very long time. Thoroughly enjoyed that. Nice work there, Lewis. Nice work there, mate. That was Yeah, it's all going there for a minute, mate. Fantastic job this weekend, guys. We didn't really have the pace on this side of the garage, but still held on to it. Let's work on that. Thanks. Lewis Hamilton wins his 24th Grand Prix. I think it moves him level with Juan Manuel Fangio in the list, Martin. And I wonder where that will rank alongside some of his other great wins. I had to work for that one, didn't he? Fantastic job, Nico. And best of all, great racing. Very well done. And I think we can say no team orders down in Malaysia. They were allowed to go for it. They did go for it. The lead changed hands briefly and it was that move that Hamilton made on Rosberg before he came in for his first pit stop that might well have earned him that victory. He had to fight hard for it for the rest of the race. Don't get me wrong on that one but that move allowed him priority on the pit stops and it was uh, good for him that he managed to do it. Yes. Very, very good race all around and Max Chilton forget 13th for Marussia that will move them back ahead of Caterham in the battle for 10th of the championship Maldonado finished uh, 14th in the race Grosjean came home in 12th for Lotus who did get both cars to the finish 22 starts for Max Chilton and 22 finishes let's head great. down to Ted with Nicky Lauda Nicky how are your nerves did you enjoy that this was a close race. I can tell you, if anybody complains that this is boring, he's an idiot. I can tell you that. What, what was Paddy saying? What did Paddy mean when he said to the drivers, bring it home? It means bring it home, but they thought they never listened to him anyway. So you could see how Nico attacked. I mean, it was an uphill race. We let them race. This is the most important decision from my point of view. And they really raced. Nobody can argue anything. So Paddy was saying, maybe don't race, but they didn't listen to him. Correct. Very simple. <laughs> thank you, Nicky. That was normally too. <laughs> Good stuff, thank you. And that's playful celebrations between the two drivers as well. Well, it's some powerful people that Nicky's calling an idiot there. <laughs> Complaining if this is boring. That's going to shut a lot of people up, isn't it? It's another second place for Nico Rosberg after taking pole yesterday. And it is a victory for Lewis Hamilton 
and they were playing the national anthem God save the Queen when they were checking out the PA just a couple of nights ago maybe they knew what was coming here I was just going to say, Lewis, first of all, what's it like to win the 900th Grand Prix ever? Well, I mean, it's great to see that we have such a great crowd and it's our first time in a night race. I'm so grateful for the team for, uh, you know, working so hard to get us up here. And, um, yeah, when it's my first time winning it here in Bahrain, it's taken yes, me a long, long time, is. so I'm really proud. But what a race. It's probably one of the most exciting Formula One races for a long, long time. Would you agree? Um, yeah, it was exciting. Nico <laughs> drove fantastically well through, throughout the race and um, very fair and it was very, very hard to keep him behind. Particularly at the end, I built a gap that was okay, but he was, he was very fast on the option tires, so I was, I was on, the, on the knife edge the whole time. But it was great fun and, of course, a real relief when I got across the line. <laughs> Congratulations, mate. Thanks, mate. Brilliant Thank race. Thank you. Nico, Misana. You got the fastest lap. Sorry, I'll get out of the way. You got the fastest lap, and you helped to make it one of the greatest, like, most exciting Grand Prix I've seen for a couple of seasons. Would you agree? Well, uh, yeah, I, I, I strongly dislike coming second to Lewis. Uh, that's really not something I enjoy doing. But uh, on the other hand, though, it was definitely the most exciting race um, I've ever done in my whole career. You know, so, uh, and I hope, I hope we, were, we were able to give all of you uh, fantastic racing in front of the TV. I think today, uh, today was a day for the sport. You know, we put on a massive show as Team, uh, team Silver Arrows. So I hope you had a lot of fun in front of the TV. And uh, I'll be back next race to take the win.